hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um today we are going to show you something different yeah but by different we don't really mean completely different we just mean something different from okay i hope you get it now so today we are going to look at matrix you know um, um we believe or we know we studied that surveying is actually applied mathematics because there is almost nothing in the profession that um, does not use um, mathematics or maybe we don't use mathematics and you know your basic knowledge in mathematics really helps you to um, perform so many tasks in mathematics physics and of course your language now we are going to see how to multiply matrices yeah um, I know in adjustment computation, maybe in any professional exam, even in school, we are being taught either as a cause or some other applications, especially in the adjustment computation and maybe um, any other aspect where matrices will be needed. So we felt it is very important to just um, show you how to do it manually. We are going to split it into different, um, would I say, stages or let's say segments. We are going to show you how to do it manually. We are going to show you how to use um, the calculator to do the multiplication, how to get the inverse. And then we're also going to show you how to use um, Excel, Microsoft Excel, to carry out the same tax. So it's going to be a series and then we believe you don't want to miss any part of it. So if you are watching it and you have any challenge, maybe in school, professionally, and you need help, you can always contact us by checking the, the channel description for our details and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So yeah, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. We are going to multiply a 3 by 3 matrix. And one thing about matrix is that um, there is a condition for two matrices to be multiplied. You know, a matrix has row and column. So let's say 1, 3, 0 is 0 then one minus one zero is what it is column so we have one two three rows and then one two three columns are we together that's this first matrix now if you look at the second matrix we have let's say one two three which is actually the three columns and then which is actually the three columns and then one two three which let's say the three the three rows so now if you look at this now we only have one column but we still have what three rows so we can say this is a 3 by 3 matrix and then this is what matrix are defined by what row by column so we're having three rows here and then we're having what one column here which means this is a what a 3 by 1 matrix whereas this is a what a 3 by 3 matrix are we together that's how you define or that's how you identify the dimension of what the dimension of a matrix or the dimension of matrices so now for two matrices to be multiplied the row and the column the row in one must be equal to the column of the other that's just how i say the basics on how we understand that you know for this three by three matrix the reason why we did not do this part on this one is because they are just three by three so you know the product will always be a three by three matrix however in a case whereby the dimensions are different like maybe you have two by three and three by one or maybe you have four by three and maybe three by two you know any dimension but it must be compatible it must be what it must be compatible so for us to explain that let's just use this one now we're having a three by three matrix here and then we're having a what a three by one matrix here so when we multiply these two matrices what is the product we are going to have we are going to have a three by one matrix how do we know that we've actually written three by three and we've also written what three by one so we can see that these three are common so now it's okay these three will go off and will now be left with what three and one so this is actually how we knew that the product matrix would be what a three by one matrix which is the same thing as this one are we together by the time you apply it so let me by the time maybe you started doing it or maybe with this explanation when you started you see that it's very clear so that's how you know maybe our matrices are maybe how you can multiply them or the um, compatibility or as the case may be now let's start with this three by three matrix multiplying these three by three matrices these two three by three matrices yes <laughs> so now first thing is that since we are having this this and this which are what our rows so we have row one row two row three 
the order of multiplication is rho by what column what do I, what do I say rho by column so the whole of this first row will multiply this column this first row will multiply the second column and then this first row will multiply what the third column that's the first thing the second row will come here multiply this first column the second row again multiply the second column the second row will multiply what the third column you come to the third row the third row will multiply the first column the third row will multiply the second column and the third row will multiply what the third column so that's the order of operation now let's apply it so we're having what a times b so the first thing is what 2 1 times 2 element a11 element a11 are we together so we're having 1 times 2 so 1 times 2 will give you what 2 plus we are now coming to this second one a is it a21 or so or a12 rather this is a12 so this one multiplied by this one which is 3 multiplied by 1 which will give you what 3 we come to this next one 0 multiplied by what minus 1 will give you 0 so we are done with this first row multiplying what this first column are we together good so we now come to this next one this first row again multiplying this second column so we have 1 times 3 which is what 3 then we have 3 times 2 which is what 6 are we together and then we have 0 times 1 which is what 0 so they are all added together they are joined by what addition we are done with this first um, row and the second column so we are now going to the first row and what and the third column the same thing 1 times 4 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 0 times 2 is what 0 so this first row of matrix a has multiplied the whole of what matrix b multiplying all the columns of what of matrix b so we come to the second row which is this the second row will now multiply the whole of what matrix b the way we've done before so minus 2 times 2 will give you minus 2 2 times 1 will give you 2 you can see it right then 1 times minus 1 will give you what minus 1 remember that they are supposed to be added but since we know that minus times plus will give you minus therefore we just wrote the minus directly hope you got that good so we come to the next column 2 minus 1 times 3 will give you minus 3 plus 2 times 2 will give you 4 you get it then 1 times 1 will give you what will give you 1 hope you got it to that point good we are now coming to this last one here so we're having what 1 times minus 4 1 times 4 rather will give you what minus 4 2 times 3 will give you what 6 and then 1 times 2 will give you what 2 are we together so we are done with using this second row to multiply the whole of what matrix b so we are now on the what on the third row the same thing we've done earlier how do we do it 0 times 2 will give you what 0 the next one is what 0 times 1 will still give you what 0 is that not then 2 times minus 1 will give you what minus 2 so we are done with this third row multiplying the whole of this word first column so we are going with the third row multiplying what the second column so we have 0 times 3 which will still give you what 0 0 times 2 we still have 0 and then 2 times 1 we have what 2 they are all joined with what the mod um, the addition sign then we come to the last the last column here 0 times 4 will give you what 0 0 times 3 will give you what 0 and then 2 times 2 will give you what 4 so you can see now that matrix A has completely multiplied what matrix B using the word the row by column. Are we together? So the next thing we are going to do is just to simplify. So we have 2 plus 3 plus 0, which is actually 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 6 plus 0, which is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. Then 4 plus 9 plus 0, which is what 13. So we are done with the first. And um, would I call it, this the first row? We are done with the first row. Now we are on the second row now. So we have what? Minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. Then minus 1, which is minus 1. Then we have minus 3 plus 4, which is actually 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then we are on this next one, which is what? Minus 4 plus 6, which is 2. 2 plus 2 is what? 4. Then we come to this one. 0 plus 0 is 0. Minus 2 will give you what? Minus 2. 
0 plus 0 is 0 plus 2 will give you what 2 and then we have 0 plus 0 0 plus 4 will give you what 4 therefore when you multiply matrix a by matrix b which are a 3 by 3 matrices or the both of them are actually 3 by 3 matrices by the time you multiply them together you have this which is also a what a 3 by 3 matrix are we together so this is the would i say very simple approach to multiplying matrices now the same thing will happen on um we want to find the determinant just to add to this particular video so you've been able to multiply a three by three matrix you should be, you should also be able to determine the determinant of what the matrix so it's very simple how do you go about it for us to determine the um the determinant of these matrices the there is a convention here the convention is that the signs are changing so we have plus minus and what plus so these signs will determine what each of the elements there will be and then when we now group the two by two matrix out how we are going to multiply them together so the determinant of a this is actually matrix a determinant of a will now be equal to we pick the first element in a11 and then all the elements in row 1 and um, column 1 and row 1 will be eliminated we are not going to consider them again so we are not going to see any of these minus 1 and 0 and we are not going to see 3 and 0 so all we are seeing is what 2 1 0 2 are we together so uh, we are now going to multiply this by this then we subtract it from what this by this what do we mean by that so when we pick this first one yeah, which is a11 the next thing we are going to do is that we are only going to consider this so we are now going to multiply this what we are now going to multiply this matrix we are now going to multiply this matrix rather so we have one into two times two which is four then minus one times zero which is what which is zero so that's the first one then minus three remember that the value here is not actually having a minus but this minus came because of the convention the alternating signs are we together that's why i had to write it with the red pen the, the minus here is unlike the minus 2, the minus 1 here rather. This minus is for this number. But this minus is not for this number, it's just for the convention. So we now have 3. But because it's the next sign there is minus, so we have to put the minus. So if maybe this one was having a minus sign, so the two minus will now go together and we now have what? A plus sign. So pay attention to that. Good. So having established that, the next thing is we are now going to eliminate the whole of this. And the whole of this which means we are eliminating the whole of row one and what column two that means we are not seeing any other thing on this particular row and we are not seeing any other thing on this particular column so all we are left with is what minus one and two and then one and what zero are we together so by that we now have what minus one times two we should give you what minus two and then minus one times zero we should now give you what zero are we together good then the next thing is we come to this last is it this last term this is a13 good so we come to this is mc row one but column three which is a13 so what do we do next we are still going to consider not these ones and not these ones but we are considering every other thing which means we are not going to see anything on this particular row we are not going to see anything on this particular column so we are now left with what minus one and zero and what two and zero so what do we do with that we bring out the zero here plus zero remember that the convention here is what plus the sign here is plus so we have plus zero then the next thing is well since we're only seeing this and this this and this minus zero times minus one times zero rather will give you what zero then two times zero will also give you what zero so we've been able to simplify that we now will go further to do what to open the bracket so we have four minus zero which is four four times one will give you four minus 2 minus 0 is what minus 2 right then minus 2 times minus 3 will give you 6 then the rule of this is 0 therefore the determinant of this matrix is what 10 you can actually confirm it by yourself so on this video we've been able to show you how to maybe multiply a 3 by 3 matrix and also how to find the determinant of a matrix so this is for you to do this is a what a 3 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 1 matrix you can actually see the values and you can see the results so you confirm it maybe as 
an assignment or maybe a quiz or something for you to do by yourself to see if you are going to arrive at the same answer or what we arrived at. We've explained how we came by having what a 3 by one matrix as the product matrix. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution or you found solution to this particular solving problem. Yeah, it's actually a solving problem. We hope to see you on the next class. Till then, keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time. Bye.